Welcome to the iVisit Presenter video guide. If you have not already installed iVisit Presenter, you can download the latest version from www.ivisit.com download. In order to video chat or use sharing tools, you must add a contact to your address book and call them. To add a contact to your address book, type the username of the contact you wish to add and press the Add button. Let's add user ALB to our contact list. Now that the contact has been added to our contact list, their name will show up with a green dot next to their username to indicate that they are online. Let's click ALB's username, then select Call from the list of options to call that user. Once the call is accepted, you will be automatically connected and will see their video pop up on your screen. Once you're in a call, you can choose between hands-free and push-to-talk mode to send audio. In push-to-talk mode, press and hold the push-to-talk button, shown here, or press and hold the control button on your keyboard while you speak into the microphone. If you switch to hands-free mode, you can freely talk into the microphone without pressing the push-to-talk button, but you may pick up background noise. Another important feature is the ability to change the video size. By default, videos are set to 160 by 120. To change this, right-click the video window, expand the image size menu, then select either 320 by 240 or 640 by 480. Note that you may experience reduced frame rates or increased latency at larger video settings depending on your network conditions. In addition to sending audio and video, you can also use the chat box to send instant messages. Simply type your message into the chat box and hit enter to send. When the public tab is selected and you are on a one-to-one -one call, your message will be sent to the connected user. During a multi-party call, the message will be sent to every participant in the meeting. If you are on a multi-party call but want to send a private chat to a single user, click the private chat button on their call window. Then, any message you send will only be visible to that user.